All right. <clears throat> Last one for today, my last task is the recording the daily recap. <clears throat> Hope you're all doing well. Let's get it. <clears throat> so in my pre-market analysis, I said I was kind of maybe looking for a short from here and maybe a long from here, but my highest probability areas were below this one and above this one. Why? Because there's no liquidity in this leg. And there was a lot of liquidity to the downside. What can we see? Price came down, tapped in, came below this low. Not the lows I was talking about. <clears throat> so I was just checking out with DXY. So I said like on DXY, we had these low, these highs. Let me actually go to the one hour. It's more easy, easier to see. The, these highs were on certain dates, like the 11th and the 17th of April. Well, it turned out doesn't need to be in line with dates although we might still see it happen but for now i don't know um what can we see purple structure is holding and we actually uh oh please 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 if we asia just stays in this range oh um stays around here maybe tomorrow morning i can get a short trade that will be that sick so um Purple structure wise, let's remove this. Oops. So, yeah, I'm going to clean it up already for tomorrow because I want to have my pre analysis clean. I don't want to be marking out everything. Um, Let me see. Email. Uh, we got this low. We got this being respected now. All right, so let's dive into today's price session. So what can we see? I had this bearish range on. Why? Well, I said like... <clears throat> this could be classed as a bearish break. Lining up with a purple, and then you got a high, a low, a high bearish break. Return to discount, continuation down. So high, low, lower, high, lower, low. Most recent lag, and then sells from here to continue down. Well, what happened? Price indeed came into the discount or into the premium and then sold off. Now, what did it react from? Um, we can see this 50 minute for value gap sitting over here. Or sorry, I think it's a one hour one. Yeah, so inside the one hour, 30 minute and then five minute, you got a couple, couple of them. Well, essentially price just came into the discount. And it just, or into the premium and turn around. Now, was there an entry? Kind kind of. Kind of. Can maybe class this. Oh, that's why. As your early sellers. Now, on the one minute, it's a bit more visible. Let me see. Yeah. So here you can see it better. You can see this low that led to that high. Essentially came below this low, then pushed up, came to the downside. Then same thing here. A low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, bearish break. So yes, you got some form of early sellers, but I was just not happy with this area to sell from. So I essentially, when this happened, I was, what time is this? Oh, I wasn't even at the charts anymore. I had to go, but I would probably stay on the higher time frames. But it is a nice trade because you can see this five minute. Oh, sorry, wrong one. This five minute low got taken out, and if this fits your rules somehow, then you get your short entry from here. Fourteen, so four. And a nice sell off 0.9, targeting Asia lows, you get almost a one to five. Beautiful trade. Five minute wise, no, one minute wise. Uh, no, it's the same break and then trade. But there's like, it didn't tap into this. This to take this entire area. 
might have been valid, valid, but mm, ah. anyway, I chose this one, so yeah. Um, let me check something real quick. Oh, why is my laptop is so slow today? It's insane. Mm. Well, no, yeah, it took the same area. Yeah, no, okay, sorry. So, yeah, so what I was checking out someone's Discord because I'm still um, trying to um, mark these supply and demand zones the right way, like the buy to sell move. So, I was just checking out if I did it right, and he had the same. So, yeah, that's good. It means that I'm getting better at it. <clears throat> um, Candle-wise, 50 minute. Oh, can we see? Well, we can see that cheaping pattern on the... Kind of cheaping pattern, although this is a bullish candle. But you can see one, two, three, turn around. Wicks. Oh, sorry. And one hour is super clean, of course. That continuation down. Then coming below these lows, what can we, oops, what can we see? I'm thinking, by the way, about adding a pair, if you got any suggestions, maybe GU, I don't like GU because it will conflict with my advice on EU, maybe JPY pair or something. All right, so we got that one minute break here. After we take, oh, I'm my my recap is a bit messy. I'm really tired. I don't know why, but so after that we took previous daily. So after this we got a swing pre Frankfurt and and Frankfurt open pushing up, and then we get a London open around here, and then we get that London swing taking liquidity. You get that turnaround, and we come below previous daily lows. Pre Below previous monthly lows, below Asia low. I was talking about this on the forecast. This is a nice liquidity area to look for turnaround. And if you trade the one minute, well, there's not like really any early sellers, but there's so ooh. So if you trade for value gaps or the just the pure the POI, your POI you wouldn't be tagged, but if you trade the fair value gap, you can see price comes below the fair value gap. And then you get your long trade from here. I think it gives you one to no, uh, no, never mind. Gives you minor trade, nothing major. No, I want to see something. If I use this one, entry would have been slightly higher, 77. Yeah, all right. So no, there's no like proper trade here. It there's no early buyers to it either. So though it's a nice turnaround on the five minute. You don't get clean price action, though you get this five minute wick. Um after we take these lows, you can see how the candle closed, doji candle, 50 minute wise, quite strong cap to the downside, but then Closing above the previous daily low, so that's pretty pretty convenient. But then you got to turn around, turn the discount, and we continue down. Now, this is where I saw a trade when I was on my phone. I was at work. Did I see a trade or was I wrong? I was wrong. Got a high, a low, early buyers. If you trade one minute, and you use one minute swings, you could maybe use this one. Overall, you could say we got trend line or liquidity building up over here. Below these lows, liquidity building up. We get that sweep here. But then, yeah, it's a bit minor. I let me zoom out one more time. 
like this is perfect. Yeah, you see, you see these wicks, and then, but then the the it's ranging. It's like the wicks to the downside, and then strong closures to the upside, but it's ranging. It's not like moving away, so. And you don't get like a proper break. If you use it one minute, which is very intricate to me, I wouldn't use it. You get this entry, which is it's completely valid. It's nice, but I wouldn't use it. I would have waited for this break, and that's it. You can actually see it. Okay, wait. And then you get the long trade. 23, 33. Five and three, five and eight, and we get a beautiful one to four. Do you get a one to four? I think you do. Ooh, just about, just about. So, but then maybe you can do the thing I said like last time. If you see it coming down this fast, closing like this, you can maybe try slightly to extend it to here. Like over here, you already get a one to five, so. You give it like 0.5, so 29. Then you're doing a pretty good job, even at 30, to slightly uh, increase your RR or reduce your stop loss. And then once four gets hit, <clears throat> and this is all pre, like in the, in the oops, inside that dead zone. And you can see that we still respect this um, one, two, hello, lower high, lower low. Oh, and this is what I saw. And this is this is clean. So you get your early buyers, get liquidity building up, early buyers. Maybe not a break, but this is clear, clear early buyers. Why? Got liquidity building up here. Price moving away, correctional and a correctional way, but in a way from, from an area where people see this as a buy area. Why we got this break here and they try to buy. We also take out these low, these internal highs, this one and this one. Line. And this is where your five minute entry comes from. Like that, nice move there in New York. After stock market open as well, that was around there. Stops below here, quite a large stop though. But and then five oh five, fifteen. Now I'm curious though. Ooh, you don't get tagged. You don't get tagged. So this is the thing. On one hand, on the one hand, there's like you want to extend it. On the other hand, there's no internal risk liquidity. But th this is like a huge push. And a huge push might mean that price will not come back that deep. So you could maybe wait wait for that 50 minute close. So then you would enter like that, I think. I'm trying to understand this drill. <clears throat> and then one hour continues and slows down. I check someone's IG. Hmm. Ah. so then you get that break you don't get an entry that's that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate because this is clean i saw this all like oh that's so clean even breaking above here we could okay there's one other thing you could do but i I'm not going to say that I would do that. So, and that's taking the 50% of that fair value, oh, that fair value gap. You might take it. I'm going to take it into consideration in the future. Value. 
if I got something this big. Mm. Might have been lucky with spreads, maybe, but yeah. 18. Nah. Damn. That would be that would have been unfortunate if you missed that. 50 minute wise. Strong candle then. Not the strongest closure, leaving a huge wick, but yeah. That one minute impulse is so strong in the five minute as well. That's a bit, yeah. It's just not no entry. And that's basically it for today. We came into that 15 minute POI that set below the liquidity. And then we got an entry and yeah, that's basically it. Bit of a shitty recap. But yeah, high time here wise, where are we? Oh, oops. Gonna change that later on. Right. This is key now. I can look for shorts from up here. Oh, we got daily close in two hours. So if we stay below that and then take this during a shot, just step in, come back, and then take the remainder during London, take Asia high during London. So it would look something like this. So this pre this previous daily high. And come above and get below. And Asia takes a uh, take Asia high, or this is coming up. Asia high take and break, move down. That would be nice. Quickly building up, minor break on a five minute, please. <laughs> and then an entry. Yeah. Oops. We got liquidity on both sides, yeah. Geeks Y wise, I can go over that real quick. <clears throat> mm. So we took these highs, that's interesting. Like how to take that one as well, like London high. Now we got this liquidity building up. And we got this red structure still being valid. So we might see a turnaround. And now take this trend line. Yeah. All right, it was a bit of a messy recap, to be fair. <clears throat> uh, I don't know why I'm so tired. But... <clears throat> Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. That's it, guys. I what? Let me check. Yeah, structure is pretty clear. Liquidity still got something to the downside. Still got this to the upside. But if we take this, we take into an orange liquidity. We can continue down. So that seems to be valid. Um, buying this up, this move down, my line up with DXY. 
It means a move from this area. We already below the that low. Keep keep that in mind. Um, high time for candle wicks. Strong to push the upside, slow down, and use the sellers. Come up, continue down. Price behavior wise, you want to set fake ranges. This could be a fake range. Come above here, continue down. This could be fake structure in general. Well, it is not fake structure because it's holding, but essentially continue up. Though so we got correction of price action. Where did we open in April? April open was around here. Somewhere here. The low of April got formed in the first week. After that, it was longs. Until the end of April almost. And then the high got formed in the last week. Open high, low, close. Just like I said. I remember me saying that, that you can look for longs all the way during April. Why didn't I think about that when I was trading, though? So, yeah. Anyway, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Um, <laughs> um, oh, what was I going to say? So, this might be the low of the week. Might be. Don't know. Anyway, this is the recap. Catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully with a fresher mind and a fresher analysis. Peace out.